What's good, YouTube? Eagle Fan 159 here, coming at you with my 8,000 subscriber special. We have a first edition Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon booster box. This is the set that came out in 2002. So the set's about 14 years old now, which is insane. So obviously, finding a first edition box is uh, crazy hard to find. Uh, of course, our uh, first encounter with the first edition box was a counterfeit, unfortunately, but hopefully, we have an authentic box here. So let's get right into it. First edition LOD. Tons of old school cards in here. All right, here's the box. Do we have the ratios on the box? All right, commons eight and one, rares one and one, supers are one and six, and ultras are one and 12. So. All right. It does look like we have an authentic box here, which is great. Yep, 100% authentic. I have a, actually have one of the, this is the non-authentic pack here. This is the counterfeit pack. This was a, this was what I was talking about with the pull tab. You can tell that it's just way off there, so. I mean, it's scary how close how close these are to real, but yeah, it's definitely one of the telltales there. So, all right, I got my soft sleeves here in case we get any foils. I'll sleep up all the hairs too. So, let's get right into it. First pack, Legend of Blue Eyes, first edition. These packs are about um. Uh, I bought this box actually. It was twelve hundred dollars for this box, which is uh obviously a lot of money, but um. They're definitely super rare on the market right now, so, and they're only gonna get rarer, so. First pack. Wow, first edition Legend of Blue Eyes. This is awesome. Chenubrin, <laughs> the Fire Knight, rare, awesome. Actually, even these commons. Wow. I started playing the game in um, Legacy of Darkness, so I never actually got a chance to open any Legend of Blue Eyes packs besides um, the like Legendary Collection, like the reprints, stuff like that. So it's awesome to be opening these now. Fusionist, rare, that's awesome. That's super cool rare to get. I mean, even these rares are worth money. I guess mint condition rares. Fissure, first edition, OG, remove trap. Of course, we'll recap at the end of the video, too. Okay. Oh, looks like a spell is our first foil. Swords of Revealing Light. Wow, crisp. That's awesome. Definitely would have preferred a Ragaki or a Dark Hole there, but that's okay. Or a polymerization, even. Mega Bat. Aqua Medor. That's awesome. The big question is what are the ultras in this box going to be? Of course, the goal is to get a blue eyes white dragon. Dark fire dragon. That's a really cool rare to get. Oops. All 
All right, so it looks like we're about halfway into the right side here. Dragon capture jar. A bunch of vanilla monsters in the set too. Of course, it being the first set of Yu-Gi-Oh. Looks like we got a vanilla monster there. Super rare, what's it gonna be? Mystical Elf, super rare. Awesome. Witty Phantom, Beast Fangs. All right, so our second foil there. Flower Wolf. Final Flame, the original burn card. Super cool. So we got two foils so far. We have two more packs on the right side. Metal Dragon. It's awesome to get these uh, fusion monsters. Very cool. Trial of Hell, the original, uh, the Remade version of it says Trial of Nightmare since Hell is a little explit or explit, whatever. Guess they want to keep the game child friendly. Alright, last pack on the right side. Oh, awesome! Right leg of the Forbidden One. Pack fresh. First edition. That is a awesome card to get. There are commons there. Flawless. No doubt we grade a PSA 10. That's awesome. Alright, on to the left side of the box. Hain Hain. <laughs> That's cool. In our spell card. Polymerization. That's super awesome. Getting a Rageki would be super cool, but definitely can't complain. Back fresh polymerization. First edition. Oh, I'm still in shock that even opening this up, but you know, it's super cool. I'll never get another chance to use this. So. It seems almost like uh, one or two years ago, these boxes only used to be three, four hundred dollars, and now they've just skyrocketed. I mean, who knows when they'll skyrocket again? Stop the fences are rare.
Spirit of the Harp. Awesome. Dragonus the Wicked Knight. How many packs do we have left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. So hopefully we get ultra rare and a seeker rare out of these seven packs. Maybe another super too. But I'm really not sure what to expect since it is LOB first edition. Ha oh, right arm of the forbidden one. Awesome. The two Exodia pieces are ultras. So it looks like I got, I got like a little ink dot there too. So very slight misprint, but pack fresh. Definitely awesome ultras to get. Warrior there. Carbonola Warrior. Greed. Awesome. It's a super awesome rare to get. Could even come off the band list too. Definitely not as good as Carter's Demise it seems. But All right, four packs left. Celtic Guardian, super rare. This is awesome seeing pack fresh cards like this. All right, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six spoils so far. If we're lucky, we can get a seventh one, but uh, we got two packs left, so. Reaper of the Cards. All right, last pack here. Final pack of LOB first edition. What are we gonna get? Flame Ghosts. Unfortunately, no Seeker Rare. That kind of sucks, but that's okay. We'll recap over the rares first. Super awesome to get those two Exodia pieces. 
only six foils, but that is the pack average that you are um, guaranteed to get, or kind of guaranteed to get on the back of the box. So no secret rare, that's okay. Still awesome, awesome card. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, please subscribe to my channel for more videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. Make sure to like this video for this super awesome opening. And uh, yeah, thanks again for watching. Peace.